Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before beginning this procedure, be sure to remove the snowblower start key from the engine. To replace the impeller, your first step is to detach the deflector cable from the chute. Next, remove the screws securing the belt cover and pull the cover off. Now use a half inch socket to remove the bolts and washers securing the belt guide. and pull the guide off. Remove the bolts and washers securing the blower housing to the frame. Pivot the frame away from the blower housing, detach, and rest the rear portion of the snowblower on its handlebars. Remove the auger drive belts. Now hold the pulley in place as you remove the bolt and washer. And set the pulley and spacer aside. Remove the bolts securing the gear case to the support bracket. Remove the bolts securing the rake assembly. and pull the assembly out. Be aware this will require some effort. Use a pin punch to remove the two mounting pins securing the impeller. And pull the old impeller off. You're now ready to install the new impeller. First position the impeller by aligning the holes in the impeller with the holes on the gear case shaft. Then replace the mounting pins to secure. Now insert the gear case shaft through the hole in the frame. This will require some effort. Align the gear case with the support bracket and secure the bolts. Align the rake supports with the blower housing and secure them with the bolts. Replace the spacer and pulley on the gear case shaft and secure with the bolt and washer. Align the auger belts on the pulley. Rejoin the two halves of the snowblower together. Make sure the chute crank rod inserts into the hole in the control panel. Reroute the auger drive belts onto the drive shaft. Secure the blower housing to the frame with the bolts and washers. Reinstall the belt guide and secure it with the bolts and washers. Replace the belt cover. And secure the screws. Route the deflector cable into the guide and reconnect the T-connection. With the new impeller installed, you can now return the start key to the snowblower's engine.